Hey, what's up, everybody? I had some people ask me to do a video showing how to get Atari 5200 running on um, the Raspberry Pi and the Odroid. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Go ahead and exit out of Emulation Station or Track Mode if you're in there. Type CD to get to your home directory. And then go into the RetroPie setup directory. So type CD, RetroPie, and you can press the dash and then press tab. It'll automatically fill it in. If you're going to type it out, make sure you use the correct case sensitivity. And then we're going to run sudo period forward slash RetroPie. Setup. Then you're going to go into Manage Packages, Manage Main Packages, and then go into LR-Atari800. You'll have the option on a Raspberry Pi to update from binary, which you can just do. Um, since I'm on an Odroid, all I can do is update from source. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It only takes a couple minutes. While this is a uh, building, uh, one thing of note, you should put your BIOS files for the 5200 um, in your BIOS directory while you're doing this before you even launch it. So I'm going to exit out, and I'm going to go back into Emulation Station and launch a game. Now remember, Emulation Station or Track Mode won't find anything until you do an update of the directory. So if you don't have ROMs in there, go ahead and put them in there before you boot up Emulation Station. Alright, let's go to Atari 5200. And you can just select any game. Okay, once it loads up, mine's going to load up no problem because I already have it configured. But yours will probably go to like an Atari uh, splash screen for basic. Just press F1 to bring up the Atari 800 emulator menu. Go down to emulator configuration. You're going to be doing all this on the keyboard, by the way. And then go down to system ROM settings. And then select find ROMs in a directory. And then press space to select the current directory. By default, it goes to the RetroPie BIOS directory. And if you notice, I have the 5200A ROM and the 5200 ROM in there. Just press select to select the current directory. Then go back. Then go down to configure directories. Now where it says uh, directories with Atari software, just press enter. And you're going to browse to, um, on the Pi, it's going to be home, Pi, RetroPie, ROMs, Atari 5200. Um, for a um, Odroid OGST build, it's going to be Home, Pi Gaming, RetroPi, ROMs, Atari 5200. So you go to the directory you want, select Space, and you do the same thing for your save files if you want it. Uh, you don't need to. Just go ahead and go back to the emulator settings, and then go Save Configuration File, and then select Save Configuration File on Exit, put it to Yes. And then you can go ahead and uh, press escape. And then I just do a reset, a warm start, and then press F9 to exit. Now we're going to have to launch it one more time. OK, what you're going to do is you're going to um, bring up the RetroArch configuration menu now. So you're going to select. Um, on mine, it's select and X, so whatever you have set up. Then go down to Options. And if you notice, where it says Atari System, you can change that to 800 and everything else. Just change it to 5200. Video standard is NTSC. And then go down to Auto, -tech, auto Detect Cartridge Type. It's, by default, it's disabled. Select Enable. Then Exit. And then you go back one more time and you go to configurations 
and then save configuration, save current configuration. Press escape and then go back to the quick menu and then go to resume. Press F9 to exit out and now everything should work. On LR Atari 800, uh, some of the games don't start with a button, of course. You need to press F4 to start it. But other than that, your controls are already mapped as long as you're using the live retro version of Atari 800. Hope that answers everybody's questions and hope it works for everybody.